business. See. He wowed though, man. I told people a year ago, man, I was like, listen, man, he's not a politician, he's a businessman. And he's, all his businesses have failed. And he's gonna run America like a business. And America gonna fail. And what happens when businesses fail? They start closing down divisions, emerging departments and shit, selling off shit. You gonna wake up one morning, he's gonna get rid of South Carolina or some shit. <laughs> I mean, the press conference trying to justify this shit, like, right? why do we really need two Carolinas? <laughs> we need the two Carolinas anyway. All we need is one Dakota and Carolina. The <laughs> vocabulary is so basic. We're gonna do an amazing job. Everybody knows it. I know it. You know it. A lot of people know it. Many people. You're like a bad life coach that got rich. The fuck is you talking about? A lot of people know it. You're gonna do great. You're gonna be amazing. Many people know it. Many, many, many. 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 Stupid. So I say all that to say, man. We're losing our history, so we got we got to stay together, man. Whatever it is, you know, we're getting them out of here, whatever we got to do, we got to stay together. That's the only way we're going to get shit done. Listen, y'all got to teach our kids, too, man. I work in the schools now, man, and y'all kids, they got kids, nephews, grandkids, whatever, school age, all y'all kids, y'all kids are dumb as a motherfucker. <laughs> you don't know them. You just got them during the day. I got them the rest of the time, man. It's two whole different people, man. They split personality. They try to tell you they're dumb as shit. They ain't teaching them nothing in school. They can't sign their name. They they can't count, read, this is true shit. I'm at the job, I'm at the desk, the clock is behind me, right? The kids come up, Miss Lamar, what time is it? Let me see your phone. No, fuck no, you're not getting the phone, first of Second of all, I'm old school, everybody, second of all, it's a clock right back there, man. They're like, oh, I ain't trying to read, bitch, it's counting, first of all. First day on the job, true story, I ain't making this shit up, first day. I had to break up a fight, nine-year-old and seven-year-old. I'm sitting in the office, I'm like, oh, shit, I ain't trained for this, but I got life skills, so let's see you get to the bottom of it. I asked the nine-year-old, what happened? He's like, my uncle hit me and beat me up. And I was like, oh shit, somebody done put their hands on this kid. So I was like, well, where your uncle at? It was the seven-year-old. I'm not trained for this. I don't, I don't know what to do here. You gotta start passing shit down, man. Passing the legacy down, man. You know, history is important. I'm a big history buff. I come from a family of educators and shit. Did y'all hear that the Harry Tubman coming to the $20 bill? Did y'all hear this? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna, go from, it's gonna go from the dub to the tub. You understand me? <laughs> but I feel like when you use it, though, out of respect, you got to use your slave voice when you're conducting business with the tubs. <laughs> Even in the bank, you got to pay tribute to her. You know what I mean? You go in there and put that hunt. And you, she always asks you, how would you like to change? You gotta be like this, take your hat off and don't look her in the eye and be like, I would like it in all 20s. <laughs> you gotta do it, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. In certain places, you can't use the tub at. You can't use the tub at the strip club. You can't put Harry Tubman black face on that black ass. <laughs> Disrespectful. Unless, unless it's at a strip club called the Underground Railroad. And, like imagine that in the future they had a strip club and the stripping was like outlawed and illegal and shit so they had a strip club called the Underground Railroad and they been there dressed like Aunt Mama and they couldn't, you know, cause it's supposed to be a secret and shit. They come over to you fully dressed and be like, you wanna see some titty? I'll show you some titty, but you can't tell me, so I'll kill you dead. And you, the object is when you get in, you gotta make it to the other side of the room without spending your money, cause that's freedom. No, but for real, man, history, man. We gotta pass on the legacy, man. I'll leave on this, because this is real shit. I, I was watching the history channel. Y'all know the Jack Daniels recipe was uh, made by a black dude? He was in the kitchen, he was a slave. He had the better formula, and they stole it. And then it's Jack Daniels 100 years later. Did y'all know KFC did the same thing? It was an old lady recipe. Did y'all know the ice cream scooper? Black man got a patent for that. The little, the little switch on the scooper to pop the ice cream out. Did y'all know the red, uh, green, and gold traffic light? Black man. Did y'all know Hanukkah, the holiday? was made by black people in America. True shit, History Channel, I seen the shit. They were talking about, uh, there was a plantation in the South a couple hundred years ago. The slave owner, he was Jewish. Slaves came up at the end of the year, they was like, excusing us, boss. Uh, 
We just wondered if we could possibly get eight days off to celebrate the new year. And he looked at him in disgust and was like, huh, nigga? So, that's where Hanukkah comes from. Like, huh, nigga? So, Hanukkah. So when you retell the joke, just use the voice. You, say, you, know, you get a pass. You just say, huh, nigga? Hey, y'all been a really great crowd, man. Hey, look, if you're on Instagram, Mr. Lamont King, follow me. I'll follow you back, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Be safe. Thank you.